With a nickname like Le Elephants, the Côte d'Ivoire men's national team have made remarkable strides on both the global and continental stages. Let's take a look at how they got here ahead of their 2024 Olympic qualifiers journey. Côte d'Ivoire first appeared in the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 1982 and has participated four more times since, including the 2023 tournament hosted by the Philippines, Japan and Indonesia. Currently ranked 31st in the world and first in Africa, they have enjoyed substantial success in the AfroBasket tournaments. Taking home the championship in 1981 and again in 1985 at home, Alongside their four AfroBasket silver medals, they came second in the 2023 AfroCan competition, narrowly losing by two points to Morocco. At the 2024 AfroBasket qualifiers, they solidified their reputation for building a developing team when they beat Egypt in their own backyard. I think that this team can really run the court really fast and play great defense. And uh, this team can bring a lot of energy in both sides of the court. And what makes this team special for sure is the energy and the heart that each player put in every game. From seasoned veterans to breakout stars, we've got the inside scoop on the talent propelling their success. What more can be said about Suleiman Jabate that has not already been said? Like fine wine, he only gets better with age. At 36 year old, Sulu, as he is known, remains one of the elite point guard in Africa. With his experience and talent, Jabate is a true blessing for the Ivorian national team. His incredible dribbling, outstanding long-range shooting, driving ability, and phenomenal passing sense make him a standout. Not to mention his skills in defending against opposing point guards. Always smiling, Sulu Jabate enjoys himself on the court and that's when he is the most dangerous. Already a two-time BAL champion, he showcased the full array of his talents at the last FIBA World Cup. Undoubtedly, he will be eager to lead Côte d'Ivoire to a historic Olympic qualification which will crown an exceptional career. Jean-Philippe Dali may be a silent force for Côte d'Ivoire national team since he joined the Elephants back in 2023. A 6'7 forward averaging 30 points and 4 rebounds, his physical attributes make him a good two-way player. He might do his first steps with the Elephants, but his impact has been major since, making him an important player in the squad. For sure, Dali's profile is no more but beneficial for Côte d'Ivoire ahead of the OQT and the upcoming AfroBasket. Next up is Nasir Zouzoua. He plays as a shooting guard and recently played for the Japan basketball in the Swedish league. In the regular season, Zouzoua averaged 13 points per game, 2 rebounds per game, and 2 assists per game. He was a key player for Côte d'Ivoire during the 2022 World Cup, showcasing his offensive versatility and ability to make shots. However, he shot 35% from the field, a percentage that reflects some occasional issues with check selections. Despite this, Zuzwa had standout performances, including a 17-point game with a player of the game award against Iran and an 18-point game against France. His ability to deliver in crucial moments makes him an essential asset for the team into the Olympic qualifiers. Dijon Prochek has been a transformative head coach since his appointment in 2011. Working to transform a very athletic push and pop side into a consistent team with time and personnel management. His push to include dynamic guards is a testament to his understanding of the team's culture and potential. Now they face their toughest challenge as they push to participate in their first ever Olympic Games. But first, they need to make it out of San Juan. Game one is on Wednesday the 3rd of July against a very tough Lithuania, followed by a Mexican team who is not as athletic as the African side. If they win one game, they can expect to face Italy who have a history of winning OQTs or Puerto Rico at home with a tough front court. This is a tournament that Côte d'Ivoire could win. The question is, how bad do they want it 